Hello Underachievers, I'm Grumpy today, so we'll see how this video goes. Before I start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I posted a video a few days ago about how I'm releasing my own song. Um, yeah, I'm releasing my own original music, and you guys have been asking for that. So if you want to go watch that video and see what that's about, then you should do it. I've also released new merch. Um, you should go check that out too, because it's actually good. And then, obviously, you should go follow my Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube, because you should do that. I just got to do a little disclaimer um, before I start talking about this in depth. Um, this video, this entire video is just my personal opinion. It's reasons as to why I don't want bottom surgery. I'm not trying to scare people away from bottom surgery or shit on people who have bottom surgery, because everyone that I've talked to who's had bottom surgery has been, like, very happy with their results, and I'm very happy for them, but... That's just not the situation that I see myself to be in. And another warning, obviously I'm going to be talking about like genitals and stuff to do with transition and medical transition. So if you're sensitive to that, then you shouldn't watch this. And if you do watch this after being sensitive to it, you're a bit silly. Um, yeah, so if you didn't already know, um, I'm a trans guy, which means I was born a female, but I'm a guy now, don't worry. No doubt in my mind that I'm a dude. A question that a lot of trans people get is, when are you getting the surgery? This is really fucking annoying to be asked, I guess. Yeah, it is. Because not all trans people get the surgery, and I know that when people ask about the surgery, they're asking about your genitals, which is something that, like, no trans person enjoys talking about. I'm just gonna be talking about why I don't want bottom surgery, and that's, that's about it. I'm getting top surgery next month, January 7th, which is, which is great. I'm very excited, but also a bit scared for it. But yeah, bottom surgery, what does that entail? So, for trans guys, who are people that were born female and then transitioned into male, um, they were born with biologically female parts. So, that's what I'm working with, it's not great. I have gender dysphoria, obviously, because I'm a trans guy and trans people have gender dysphoria. But this means, for me at least, that I'm uncomfortable with those parts. I do have bottom dysphoria, I do have a lot of it, but I'm going to explain to you in this video why I'm not going to get bottom surgery. So, the first reason why I'm not going to get bottom surgery is because there's such a high risk of complication. I was talking to a professional in my gender clinic, and she said that there was about a 50% chance of complication if you got phalloplasty. Phalloplasty is the one I'd go with if I was going to get bottom surgery. But a 50% complication rate is not, in my eyes... I, I don't want that. A lot of the times, there's lots of complications with, like, your urethra, and I just... That is... Uh, I know a lot of people are prone to infection. I know a lot of people that have gone through the surgeries have had infections and it's been very tough. So yeah, that's the first reason why um, too high of a risk of complication. The second reason why I'm not going to get bottom surgery is because it's, it's a very intensive surgery. The healing process for metoidioplasty and phalloplasty is like... Ridiculous. For phalloplasty at least, there's there's about three stages, two stages if you go to a different surgeon, but it's, it's a three-stage surgery. And the healing time between each stage is ridiculous. It can take months, it can take years to heal. It takes a long time for everything to settle down there and be healed. But yeah, these surgeries are very, very, very intense. I've seen videos of people who get bottom surgery and they can't move, they can't walk comfortably for months. Sometimes they have catheters in for an extensive amount of time. That's just, that's just not... It's just not on for me. The third reason why I'm not getting bottom surgery is because, as I said earlier, the bottom surgery I would be getting if I was going to get it would be phalloplasty. Um, with phalloplasty, obviously, comes the skin graft. If I was going to get phalloplasty, I would have got a skin graft from my arm. That's difficult. A skin graft entails cutting out nerves. It entails cutting out skin. Um, pretty much, I would be left afterwards with a... I don't want to sound offensive, but it, it would be like a deformed arm. It takes a long time, again, for, for that arm skin to heal. And this is obviously just a personal thing to me. This whole video is a personal thing to me. I'm not trying to get people scared of bottom surgery. But for me, at least, if I got a skin graft taken from my arm, every time I looked down at my arms, I'd be reminded that I was trans. And every time I went into public, there would be people asking me what happened to my arm. Was I in an accident? It's personally just something that I wouldn't want to put myself through. The fourth reason I have for not getting bottom surgery kind of draws on from the idea that there's a lot of complication. Um, I'm not saying I'm happy with what I've got because I'm definitely not happy with that area. I'm, I'm trans, I'm, I'm uncomfortable around that area. But that being said, what I have works. For me, the pros don't outweigh the cons in that area. I, I think about this a lot. Um, I'm a gay man. Um, I guess this is my coming out as a bottom video, but for me at least, I am a, what you'd call a bottom. I don't, I hate, that's, weird to say. When it comes to sex and stuff like that, I don't top. And my experience as a gay man, as a gay trans man, would be different to a straight trans man. For me, 
it works at this point. It's not, it's not my favourite thing, but it works. I know the majority of the time people get sensation back, but I don't want to risk not ever being able to nut again in my life. Nutting is great, so <laughs> don't want to, don't want to, don't want to risk that. I'm not going to delve too deeply into that one. Um, the next reason why I wouldn't want to get bottom surgery is because although bottom surgery right now is is satisfactory and is good and is great for a lot of trans guys, for me, eh, I wouldn't be too impressed with it. For me, it wouldn't be fully functioning. Um, I mean, you can pee through it, you can have sex with it, but it's not... It's not a cis penis. No, for me, if I looked down at it, I'd be like, oh, that's not good enough, and I'd be I'd be dissatisfied with it. Which sucks, and that's a personal thing for me. Obviously, a lot of people, uh, most people that I've talked to that have had bottom surgery have been very pleased with their results, they're very happy with it, but for me, I just, I just don't see myself in that position. But yeah, I think for now, those are my reasons as to why I wouldn't get bottom surgery. Um, maybe it'll change in the future. I know that if bottom surgery improved, and if there was a way for bottom surgery to be done that would not impress me, but would I that I would be happy with, then maybe I would get bottom surgery. But for now, until things are improved, I'm not going to be getting bottom surgery. I think science has the capabilities to improve how they do bottom surgery, but they just haven't. So yeah, uh, that's the video. Again, this is not to try and scare people away from bottom surgery. This is my personal opinion on why I myself wouldn't want bottom surgery. But yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it in some way. It was not really something to be enjoyed, um, but uh, yeah. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers.